Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back for some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Today is a new day with a lot to do, but unfortunately, some bad news. Uh, I recorded this already, and we're heading inside, uh, <laughs> but I did not uh, unmute my microphone from when I was recording Minecraft stuff, so there's no commentary, but I'm gonna just play it like I'm actually playing, and I'll, I'm doing post commentary, but I'm going to act like I'm actually playing. So here we go. Uh, it's rainy outside. I think I'm going to go grab my, my leaf umbrella, <laughs> even though I know that the rain is about to stop. Uh, while we're in my house, check out this sweet flag I got from Danielle. Bam! It's Mario flag. And then over on the other side is the SS Dolphin. It makes a, uh, a nice little flying away sound when I push it here. Bam! Pretty cool. And then one last thing. This is the sword I got from Mira last time, but we're going to head out. And I'm going to check my mail and everything. I I feel like I'm not going to need my umbrella for some reason. No. Uh, so today there's a few things going on. Uh, I'm going to talk to Sao Joan and get some turnips, but that's I'll probably do that off camera. Uh, and there's also there's a new special guest in the Happy Home Academy Plaza and a new shop opened up, if you remember from last time. And i got to go check that out. I'm going to throw away some letters from Cranston because Cranston is constantly visiting my house and he just sends me tons of letters. And he's always wanting to come over or have me come over. But I'm going to grab the, the little bits of mail here. I've got a few things. I think it's mostly stuff I just ordered, though. So we got bam, 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 one, two, three, four. Let's check these out real quick. So we got a letter from Gulliver. Oh, yeah, uh, I found Gulliver on the beach. And he traveled to Singapore. So I got uh, a special thing from him that I'm going to drop in my house here in a sec. It is a merlion. That's the symbol of Singapore. That's what he was asking me about when he uh, was wondering where he was going. And we have the Magnificent Merlion. And then I think the rest are from Timmy. So here's a, the raccoon figure, Tanuki. I got that for Danielle, because she uh, she doesn't have one. Let's grab that off of there. And then uh, the other two, I think, what did I, I got her a raccoon wall clock, yeah. So she didn't have to do the best buy connection thing. Make sure you guys do that, because you're running out of time for that. And then the time clock is for Josh. Josh was just messaging me, but I got that for him because he's going to set up. Yep, I am recording. <laughs> Josh uh, Josh is setting up a store in his museum, uh, like kind of a nice little like fake store with flowers and stuff. So it'll be, and, uh, and fruit and stuff. So he's going to use like a cash register and the punch clock. I thought that was a cool idea. I might try to do something like that when I get the museum uh, exhibits eventually. So we're going to head down to the town. Oh, there's a bird wing. Sweet. Um... I keep wondering if I should save all my bird wings till the next month's uh, bug catching contest, since those seem to be the ones that win. Uh, the, the stags are pretty good too, like the golden stag and some of the other beetles. But it seems like the uh, the bird wing are pretty surefire ways to win those bug catching competitions. We're gonna head in because uh, last time we completed a public works project. We started and completed a public works project, uh, but I forgot to go to the ceremony. That was a couple days ago, actually. So let's talk to Isabel. Hello, Mayor Adam. Is there something I can help you with today? Uh, actually, I'm going to go back to my mayor chair because I, I got to We're going to do the ceremony for the bench, and I'm just going to I'm just going to peck on her with a little beak I got from Danielle. I don't know what I'm. Oh, that's uh, so Isabel. <laughs> I forgot I was going to tell you guys that uh, the Isabel. Her name is Isabel because she literally is a bell. Her bag. Her head is a bag of bells. I didn't notice that for a while. <laughs> It's a really, it's this funny pun that's like super obvious seeming, but you know, you don't really notice it until, until you think about it. All right, let's have this nice ceremony. And there is some type of lost book on the ground over there. I'm gonna have to check that out. <clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to the grand completion ceremony, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm gonna, I probably won't do a completion ceremony for every one of these unless you guys wanna see that. Cause this is the third one I'm doing. I'll do my last speech. We did it. Silently nod, yes. Uh, but I've done the other two selections, so I've basically seen each outcome. And here we go with the party poppers. I hope the, the person with the book is around here, because this is like half the town. And someone someone was reading their book on the new bench, and they just threw it on the ground. It must not have been a very good book, because they didn't care to take it with them. <laughs> so uh, we're going to grab that book here in a sec. Bloop. Da -da -da -da. Picked up a lost item. I wonder if someone dropped this. Maybe I should look for the owner and return it. Let's see if it's any of these these little ruffians. Hey there, chat man. I can't seem to wake up this morning. I really need some sun to shake off this sleepiness, sweat man. So what can I do for you? Did you drop this, Cranston? 
this book. I don't know if Cranston reads. He doesn't seem like the reading type. He just kidnaps babies and keeps them in his house, it seems like. Whoa, well, it's not mine. You should ask Rounds what, man. Alright. Looks like those two, oh, it looked like those two were having a conversation for a second. Good morning, good to see you, Adam. What's up? Drop something? Hmm. What is, what is, what, is that food? <laughs> Sorry, that's not mine, but it must belong to someone. Lump off. Man, you don't have to be so rude about it. Let's check out Brofina, the second rudest person. And, uh, so what do you want, Adam? Did you drop something? You want this book? You could use it for, like... You rip up the pages and use it to, like, line your nest, I guess. Can't say I've seen that before. It must belong to someone, though. Cluck yeah! <laughs> so I gave her the catchphrase, cluck yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Yo, chap! Seeing your face will just... Blah, 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 blah. So did you want to need something? And I hope this is your book. I've got a strong feeling this might be Elvis's book here. Oh, I was looking all over this. It's totally my book. Man, I'm glad to have it back. Thanks. Oh, I was joking my thanks here. Take my mint shot with you. Oh, <laughs> thanks. That's, that's not, I have a feeling I'm not going to be a big fan of the mint shirt. Let's pop this on and take a look. It doesn't. Ooh, yeah. It looked like a little kindergartner running around. I kind of already look like a little school kid, but that's, we're definitely not going to. Let's put that in retail or something. They can sell it. Hopefully, I'll sell it right back to him. I like that Elvis is wearing his. Uh, his little fancy, like, regal king clothes, but eventually that's gonna change. Oop, Agrius. Snatch that. Those are pretty, pretty good, money-wise. We're gonna head up, and I think we're gonna, we're gonna pick this weed for sure, I know that. Uh, I don't need to go into retail, I can sell stuff later. Let's head to town, let's go see the new shop, Kix. Uh, we saw it last time, but it was already closed when Danielle was here, so we're gonna head in and meet the little guy. And, uh, oh yeah, we also need to go to the happy home place. I don't, I want to make sure I not forget that. I have a feeling I'm, I'm, I'm not going to forget it, but, you know. I keep having a lot of feelings today. I don't know about you guys. Um, <laughs> let's head into Kix. He's got a sock on the top, a shoe on the side. Let's meet this little guy. How you doing, buddy? Hello, chum. <laughs> I'm a little rapscallion street urchin newsy. Crikey, it's the mayor here. My shop. Welcome, sir. In my shop. <laughs> my name's Kix. I run this little shoe shop. Please have a look around. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything. Little shoe shine, spit on your face. Hey, some red wrestling shoes. They're nice and sporty, don't you think? It's just price just 900 bills. You want them and maybe you'd like to try them all first? No. You gonna buy them later? You're probably gonna come back and buy them later, right? So these orange sandals, I think I think Daniel might want these. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab those without even trying them on. And then these look nice. Some jester shoes. Those will go nice with my. Uh, I have a jester's cap from Danielle and a jester's mask. I, I I almost have a full like jester's clown outfit. What are these little socks? Got some white socks. I think I can't remember what type of socks I have on, but oop. I was gonna let's try on these real quick. Yeah, let's take my shoes off. I'm gonna see. Oh, I've got so much stuff I can't buy anything else. So let's throw some crap in there, and then I'm gonna put my mint shirt on to save some room, even though it's ugly. And, uh, let's take my shoes off and let's see. It looks like I've got... Ew, dirty socks. Oh, I like the sound when those get turned on. Um, <laughs> some black tights. That f <laughs> that's tip-top, man. They look pretty nice, but I don't know if they'll look great on me. Uh, I'll probably give this to Danielle. And here's some white socks. Grab those now that we got room. And I, I think my s I might have gray socks on. Let's try these out. Wear the white... Oh, let's try on the tights first. Man, those are looking good. If I need to be like stage crew in a play or something, I can wear those. So there's some gray. So I was wearing gray, dirty socks, but I'm gonna wear the white socks now. Since I'm mayor and I need to be official and clean. We've got shoes and socks for all kinds of fate. Bob's your uncle. See ya. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. All right, that was cool. I like. <laughs> I like Kix. He's one of my favorite little characters. I just like his design. It's. You would think you wouldn't want to buy new clothing and things from a little tiny uh, skunk that smells. Oh, oh, okay, so Dr. Shunk is over here, and I gotta give him my completed form here. Hey, how goes the signing cl signature collection? You working hard? I got them all. Really? Did you give me the signature sheet? I like to do his voice now, like, if, I think a, a good voice for him is, like, when you stick your teeth out, because that's kind of what he's got. Whoa, you got them all for me. Awesome. I'll take this and get everything going right away. Alright. As long as, as I can get the permit I need, that's all that's left to do is necessary construction. Alright, sounds good to me. 
I'm gonna pop in this club hopefully pretty soon. I'm not exactly sure when I'll be able to open the poke though. I'll do my best to hurry. <laughs> but I don't open my place in the basement here. Feel free to stop by any time to see how it's going. I <laughs> certainly hope that you come by. Oh, before I forget, thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm a doctor, but for some reason, I want to open a club. See you later. I think doctor is just an honorary title, maybe. I don't think he actually got his medical degree. Uh, just a second, Adam. Would you like to look around the Happy House Showcase? Yep, we got a new guest to see over here, and we're going to go check out their house. And uh, pretty soon, I think, I've, uh, I've also street passed Danielle, so I'm going to check out her house. It's not very big, but... She might have something in there that I want. I'll have to check that out. A little bit of saving here. How's it going, guys? <laughs> How are things with you? <laughs> Let's head over here. Okay, look, we got a new person. It is... Da -da -da -da. Let's go talk to this. It is the uh, the CEO of Nintendo of America, Mr. Reggie fils -Aimé. I'm Reggie from Nirvana. My home is over at West 12. My body is ready. <laughs> so Reggie has a nice sepia tone picture. I think if you hold R when you take your picture, you can uh, you can get it sepia tone, and if you hold L, it's black and white. It's one or the other, but that's how you get those. Look at these achievements. Man, he's been playing a lot. He's been playing since May 1st, so he definitely got the game way before a lot of us in America. But I, I don't know, I, I keep wondering whether Reggie is actually like playing, or it's, you know, somebody was like, hey, let's, uh, let's make it look like Reggie's playing. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he, he likes to play games, it's just, it's like, his house is, is doing pretty good, you'll see here in a sec, so uh, I'm not really sure if, uh, if it's completely Mr. Reggie doing all this. So here is, uh, is Reggie's house, let's head on in, and we're going to, uh, to grab some stuff here. Uh, so you can get five, five items a day, I think, per house. Maybe not per the showcase, but per house. And as you can see, Reggie has, like, almost every Nintendo item. He doesn't seem to have the blue Pikmin hat. There's the Bill Blaster. Whoa, just shot right through my face. Um, so I've got one up on him since I've got the... Oh, Star Fox music. And then uh, he's got Peach's Parasol. He's got a coin. He's got these sweet cases to store all this stuff in, which is pretty awesome. He's got a few mannequins there. Little shelf. We're gonna head over here into what I believe is Reggie's bedroom and bathroom area. He's watching some TV. Check out this he's got a sweet piggy bank. Reggie's been hoarding a lot of art, it looks like, instead of donating it. And look at these sheets. <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> it's a spinny image of Mr. Reggie. And there's an inaccessible bathroom. I don't know how he poops if he can't even get in there. He's got some nice stuff, his fishing trophy, a little piggy bank, a TV. He's leaving it on. How does he even watch that? There's like no place to sit in front of it. And he's not saving power very well by leaving that on. Anyways, I leave my music on all the day, all time in uh, in my house, so my bubble become KK, so I can't judge Mr. Reggie. But uh, let's head up here. I think this is his workout gym area. And he's got, man, a basketball court right behind his back. Oh, this is funny. When Reggie, Reggie did a video for the Nintendo channel, and he, he like laid down on there and he was like, I'm going to go exercise. Let's lift some weights. Ah, that's good. My body's ready. Let's move on. <laughs> so he like, <laughs> they had him do commentary over like someone running around his house recording. He's got a nice DJ's turntable, his Wii Fit balance board. That's pretty sweet. Lots of nice exercise stuff. Another TV left on. Uh, the Wii Fit balance board, I think, is another fortune cookie item. And uh, I don't know if you can actually check your BMI or anything with that. Probably not. Let's head over here to this side room. This is what a fully expanded house looks like, just so you guys know. So it's a little bit of a spoiler, but hopefully I'll get this eventually. It's going to take a long time because he's fully upgraded this whole room. So he's got an, a little lamp, lovely lamp here. It's very dark in his kitchen. He's got another TV left on, an Apple TV. That's a, it's a you know, Apple product. Right? The retro fridge. He's got a, what is this, a soda case. I don't know why he needs so much soda. He's, he works hard. There is some type of jammery, and then a toaster. I'm going to make some toast for Reggie. There you go, it's done. <laughs> he can enjoy that later as it sits in his toaster, getting cold. But yeah, I'm still like really just like, is, did he really, you know, set this whole up, thing up? Because he had to pay, I think it's like seven something million bells to pay this whole thing off. Here's a nice little rec room. He's got some gyroids. I want that modern stool. That's uh, something I need for my collection. He's got a Mario Kart 7 cart with a hang glider. Check out this sweet fighting machine with fighting game with uh, Mario and Luigi. A nice high-end stereo. Stereo. I want to know what tune he's playing. If you can recognize what KK tune that is, let me know. Wow. We can shred. 
Um, let's head upstairs. The last room is his upstairs, and this is my favorite room because it, uh, I mean, I haven't seen it yet, but it's my favorite room in his house uh, because I'm a big fan of, like, Japanese design and, I don't know, I just like uh, Japanese and Chinese different, you know, stuff. So there is a nice, whoa, it's terrifying, ghostly cat. There's a lion dance mask that's, like, Chinese. There's a, he's got a ton of swords up here. He could probably arm an army. He's got a sitar, sweet flag, a uh, monkey shirt. It's got little monkey designs on it. A trough for some reason. I don't know what he's doing with a trough. Some type of little thing. Okay, looks pretty good. I'm going to head back in here later and uh, do a little bit of shopping. Grab some items, and I'll probably keep coming back here each day. I, don't, I probably won't do that on camera, but I'm going to come back here frequently to keep stealing items from Reggie's house. Now, they sell them at, like, an overpriced, so... If you're going to try to get the items that way, you might just want to wait if you're short on money. But yeah, so that's Reggie's house. I'm going to head back over, and we're going to end things here. Thanks for uh, bearing with me with this kind of unique episode. Uh, it's a little different from what you guys are probably used to. <laughs> the commentary just seems a little strange today. I don't know why. Anyways, okay, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. And uh, one last thing I have to do here. Spin around a few times, and we're going to walk over and, you know, why not give Reggie a nice little smack on the face. Bam. And his was your body ready for that, buddy? Huh? Okay. <laughs> See you guys later. Goodbye.